this project is called Trumpet Loyal Art. So if you take a look over here, there is this paper taped on a wooden board. Everything that you see here is drawing. Nothing is really taped on anywhere. So trompe l'oeil basically means, it's a French term for full the eye and it's extremely realistic art designed to trick the viewers into thinking the subject is real rather than painted or drawn. And when you guys are done with your project, these are some of the examples of what you're going to see. So, yep, they are all student examples, and here's my little example of how to do this. So, here's a one step by step tutorial on how to make this trumpet oil in really short, like 15 minute assignment. For that one part. So number one, I'm pretty sure you guys all have your writing in there. Rip it into two to three pieces. Oh, your letter gonna rip it out. It's okay. We're gonna revive it by drawing it on a drawing paper. So when you get this paper, make sure the rough side is the drawing side, and smooth side is the back side. Write your name on the back, not on the front, please. So you're gonna have your own placement for your papers and when you guys are doing this, make sure you do not use any thick line like the one that you just see right there. We are using extremely fine line, so do not give any pressure when you do this outlining. You said trace the outline of your ripped piece of paper on a drawing paper with the lightest line you can make. So do not have that much of pressure, just gently grab your pencil, you barely grab it. And trace the outline only and do not forget to draw that, I mean trace the hole as well. So there's my outline of this whole paper, my first piece. And then you're gonna grab your pencil and do all that strategy over this small piece of paper or on the side and get a tissue paper and smudge it, just rubbing on it and that way you're gonna get some lid on your tissue paper and you're gonna just smudge the tissue on the edge of this ripped paper, the letter from inside toward the outside to create the shadow and uh, when you do this smudging, make sure you go in one direction only Consider where the light source is located at. This time, um, you can see that our light source, light source is located on the left upper hand corner. So I'm only adding all the shadow on the right downside, and do not forget to add the shadow inside the hole as well. So after I add all the shadow, I'm gonna do a little more touch up with using the pencil. A little more smudging. And you know, cast shadow if you already know about this, that's great. But there are some extreme dark areas called core shadow on the cast shadow. That's what you want to add right there. And if you happen to have some pencil marks inside that white area, then make sure you use your razor to clean it up. And this time we're gonna use blue pencil. And we're gonna mark a little dot on where the blue line starts and ends on the little piece of paper. We're gonna mark really lightly that only you get to see it. Again, can be that much. Really small dots. So if you can barely see it, you almost don't see it, then that's perfect. That's fine. So, yep. Spot where the lines are starting and ending. And remove the paper from your drawing paper. And this time we're going to use a ruler, obviously. 
and connect the dot to dot to create your straight line. Don't get mixed up to draw your line diagonal. Just make sure that you are drawing a parallel line that goes with the edge of your paper on the top. And the paper edge on the top. And when you do this, make sure you are giving exactly the same pressure to make your lines don't get thick or thin. And in your hand, constantly roll the pencil so you can you are always using the sharpest point on the lid so the lines are all even. And then we're gonna do pretty much the same thing. It's only one line with the red pencil. But make sure you spot where it starts and where it ends. Mark them. Draw a single line. Be careful not to go over the paper area. Top. So there's your paper. Do a little cleaner, make it look better. Yay. Alright. So, I'm going to erase a little more line on the edge of the paper on the left hand side because that's going to be the lightest. And then you're going to get a pen or pencil to fill in your writing that's supposed to be there. And don't forget, your letter or writing has been ripped out, so make sure you stop at where you're supposed to be at. So your letter got cut off. And if you have, you still have two, three more pieces, I mean, not two, you have one or two more pieces of this paper. Just make sure you finish everything by repeating this process. So here's a little touch, uh, finished touch up here. You're going to draw a line that goes behind that trumpet oil paper that you just finished drawing. And then you're going to cut out along with the line. And now it looks like it's a paper that, that's been attached on another piece of paper. And about the hole on the paper. We're going to use a hole punch to get a, get a real hole on your trumpet of paper that, can't, that has that's been stick outside your drawing paper. You're not gonna do this, you're not gonna do this with that punch, I mean hole puncher, you're gonna get better one in here. And a little clean up. If you happen to have those little holes on the other piece of paper that's not sticking outside your composition then you're not going to make any other holes like this. So that hole, you're, you're only going to use a hole punch on that hole that really sticks outside the composition. And you're done. So it took me like 10-12 minutes to do my first piece. So if you guys going to have like 2-3 to three Pieces, you're gonna rip your paper into two to three pieces, then it's gonna be okay with 30 to 40 minutes. So, this is one day assignment that you can finish in one day. Good luck! I'll see you in my class. Bye bye!